Today, let's do something more interesting. Here, we are having two lists, Amplist and Amplist2. We are converting them to streams one by one and then invoking for each. And you see, we are only printing the name of the employees. And it is working fine. But the goal is that we can use for each only once. We can't use it twice. So how to do it? So we can do something like this. Here we will say stream, then we will be saying here of, and then we will be providing something like this. Then after this one, what we will do is, or let me just remove this particular part from here completely. And here I will be saying this for each, then within this I will be saying system dot out colon colon, and here I will be saying something in this particular way, println. Now let's see on executing what happens. Now on executing, you see that it is printing the content of both the lists completely. But I only want to print the names. Also, I don't want to print in this way. I want only names in one single go. So what I can do is I can first of all convert it to a flat map. And then I will be saying here list. Then I will be doing something like this. Then I will say list dot stream. And then it is going to look something like this. Now let's save it and let's execute it again. Now you see that it is printing us all the employee details completely, something like this. If you wish, we can convert it to a method reference in this particular way, control shift to, and we can do something like this. Now the goal is that we only need to print the names, not the complete employee details. So after flat map, let's use map once again. And this time what we will be doing is here we will be seeing EMP and then we will be seeing get and here we will be seeing get name. And then let's save it. Then after saving, let's again convert it to a method reference in this particular way. Let's refactor it a bit, something in this way and this way. And now it looks nice. And now on executing the code, you see that we are getting what we needed as per the requirements. Do like the video if you learned something new today. Thanks.